Hi Sam, that was a, a pretty a pretty action packed day. Where do you reckon you guys stand at the end of that? Yeah, to say the least. Um, yeah, I think we've got an opportunity. I, I thought we bowled really nicely tonight. Um, created opportunities, created a lot of intensity, and, and held our length brilliantly. So um, it's a huge session tomorrow. Uh, we don't need to kind of emphasise that enough, really. Um, so I think the game is. Obviously, they're in front of the game, but we've got an opportunity to really make a statement and inroads in the morning. I guess, I guess the feature of this series for England has been sort of a failure to bat long and, and make those big scores today. Um, bowled out in less than 50 overs again. What, what was the disappointment in the dressing room like that you weren't able to take the game a bit longer? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think... The most disappointing thing was whenever we kind of wrestled back a bit of momentum, um, we lost a wicket at, at crucial times, I suppose. Um, yeah, a few kind of, it was a real eclectic mix of dismissals as well. It wasn't just a set way of getting out. Um, they were just, yeah, pretty much a mixed bag. Um, but like I said, it was just whenever we kind of wrestled back that momentum, uh, we lost a key wicket at the key time. Recording in progress. Just on a on a personal level, Sam, you had you had a bit of a, a ding dong with with that sort of high class attack and. Can you hear me? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, no, just saying you had a bit of a a bit of a battle out there with the bat, and then you were fielding in two separate sessions with the gloves. Do you have the hunger for this and the sort of the, the taste of Test cricket now, and you hope to be in this team a little longer? Absolutely. Did it look like I was having fun? <laughs> At times. <laughs> well, I absolutely loved it. Um, look, it's far better than sat on the sofa um, waiting to board a plane. Um, I, yeah, I loved every minute of it. I found it was a great challenge against a brilliant um, brilliant attack that had been on fire this series. And that's what you want to do as a cricketer. You want to pit yourself against the best. And um yeah, like I said, I absolutely loved it. Oh, it was just a shame that I got out when I did. And um, but yeah, I felt really good. Felt in in good rhythm, good flow, and um, like I said, just just really enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay, let's go, Will Matt Ferson, and then Oz Sports Radio. Go ahead, Will. Hi Sam, could you just uh, sum up the last week for us, or ten days, or however long it's been since you got that call telling you to to come down to Sydney and then. You ended up making your debut. Just, just try and sum that. Yes, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a roller coaster, but I think the overwhelming. I've got two probably overwhelming feelings of um, nothing to lose, everything to gain in terms of an opportunity, uh, one that I didn't expect, and um, yeah, loving every minute of it, and and also I haven't obviously kind of gone through all the messages, but. Um, just really appreciative appreciative of all the support I've got, um, all the messages that I've got through and kind of the love shown um, has kind of blown me away, I suppose. So, yeah, on those kind of two different counts, um, just, yeah, it's been amazing and probably hasn't quite sunk in. Um, I've been able to enjoy it a lot more as well than I probably have done uh, previously when I played for England at some times. I felt under so much pressure to perform and so much pressure to take an opportunity. Um, I've probably not enjoyed it as much as I could. Um, kind of worried about whether I'll be picked for the next game or the next squad. Uh, this I just saw as a kind of free hit. Um, and yeah, I saw it as a great opportunity to really make a statement. Uh, I'm, I'm disappointed I didn't go on, but um, like I said, I absolutely loved it. When when you come into a team that are, are three 0 down in this series, what what what's your sort of aim on a on a team level, not just personally? What did you try and bring? Yeah, uh, of course, positivity and energy is something that come comes kind of naturally to me. And look, with the uh, Test Championship, there's not a dead rubber. Uh, there's a lot to play for for a lot of individuals in this in this side and in the squad. So. Um, yeah, you're playing in a Nationals Test match. Um, yes, the result of the series hasn't gone to plan, but um, yeah, everyone should have a reason to get up for it and really uh, be motivated to put in a performance. And and and, and we are. Um, everyone to a man is. Uh, it's just I've tried to... Maybe the guys who need a bit of a kind of uh, arm around the shoulder. Uh, I know a lot of the guys really well and 
um, kind of help those guys through and um, yeah, offer that positivity and maybe a little bit of experience as well around around the group. So yeah, I'll, I'll continue to kind of be myself and and offer that and keep driving the lads on in the field. I think that intensity in the field is something that's really um, really important to me actually, um, and it kind of sets us up as a team. Cheers, Will. Let's go, Andrew Miller from Crick Info. Hi, Sam. Um, uh, well played. I uh, just wondered, I wondered if you heard Tom Harrison was talking on, on the radio uh, today about um, the idea of asking for young England players to go, go over and play in the Sheffield Shield. And obviously, you know, you, you're one of the huge contingent of England players in the big bash at the moment. And you obviously play alongside Australians coming over to county cricket. I mean, just wonder what the benefits would be for for, for players to get over and get that get that sort of experience. Yeah, I, I, as you yeah. mentioned, I've benefited from playing in various different tournaments, very different, very various different uh, environments as well. And um, I know it kind of people think it gets over egged a lot, um, but the lessons you learn from um, different cultures, playing different styles of cricket, the mentality around it, um, absolutely it benefits any young player. I think also, I mean. One of the best things I ever did was play club cricket over here um, for Penrith with Pat Cummins. He gave me a bit of shit. He he, um, he sent me a message this morning and a scorecard of when we played together at Sutherland Cricket Club. I got a duck, he got 100 and reminded that to me this morning. But that experience was brilliant. Um, coming over here, again, that different mentality, conditions-wise, and, and you learn your game, you learn your craft. And... And that wasn't even obviously at the professional level. Uh, I was very lucky at the club that I was at, but um, to go one step further and potentially play in the Sheffield Shield, I think it would obviously offer a huge amount of value to, to our players. Um, whether or not the Aussies will be that nice, who knows? But um, yeah, I can absolutely say playing in the Big Bash, playing in the IPL, that's done wonders for my career, um, as long as you play, I suppose. And, and just, just in terms of of the extremes there's been a lot of talk of preparation for this series and I mean I guess your preparation takes it to an extreme there I mean you know wandering onto a test test pitch after the build-up you've had how did you how did you find it just you know that, that first ball of, of, of red ball cricket in a while for you pink ball cricket uh, pink ball, yeah yeah fair point um no of course uh Again, it's, I suppose when you get older, more experience, um, you have a real clarity or a bit more clarity around your own game and the method you want to um, kind of input, I suppose. And yeah, I, I had a very clear game plan. I had a very clear method that I wanted to, to use and against the various different challenges in terms of the bowlers. So um, yeah, batting is all about mindset rhythm and confidence as I said the other day and the only way you get true confidence is by time in the middle and yes it's a different format but runs under my belt and the big bash that's no doubt um, helped me hugely and again it's just a flick of mindset um, and, and that clarity in decision making and uh, yeah for me I'm always going to play positively I'm always going to try and score runs and, and hit the ball so um, yeah I just tried to do that today Nice one. Thank you. No worries. Okay, John and we'll finish with Dean Wilson. Uh, Sam, I, uh, the, the England openers have struggled all, all series. I appreciate you've not been around much. Uh, Roy came back today, he was out from the north, obviously run out rather than missed by a bowler. But uh, is that struggle at the top of the order, is that down to the quality of the Australian bowling or, or technical deficiencies amongst the batsmen? Um, no, I... Well, today obviously wasn't down to technique at all. Um, slight error of judgment, slight um, that they, they showed the margins of the game, I suppose, today with that run out. And um, I suppose it's, I, I think that might be the first or second time Zach and Rory have batted together as an opening pair. Um, so again, Zach's shown some brilliant signs, I thought, today. Um, and in the last game as well. So there are signs. Uh, the bowling attack, statistically, I think it was the third test, MCG, that was, since data has been recorded, the, the best opening spell ever in test cricket. Obviously, data doesn't go all the way back, but the bowlers have been exceptional for Australia. They've been relentless um, and they've made it very tough. There's 
Oh, what's going on there? Sorry, guys. Can you hear us? Yep. Yep. Yes. Sorry, I went off there. Apologies. Good job. <laughs> um, sorry, where was I? Uh, yeah, so I don't think, I think it's been a combination uh, of well, a huge amount down to um, the Australians being brilliant with the ball. There's no doubt about that. Um, yeah, it's a brutal game cricket, isn't it? The margins are so small. Um, and yeah, I, I suppose that's been the difference um, in this series. They, yeah, they've just been on top of us. Simple as that, really. Um, and Dean, last one, please. Uh, hi, Sam. I just wondered what was the aspect of today that you enjoyed the most while you're out there and, and what was perhaps most um, difficult for you out there? Um... I, I, yeah, I've just enjoyed it all. I enjoy, um, I enjoyed getting off them, um, getting off the mark. That was that was um, probably a highlight initially, and, and settled the nerves down nicely. Um, I think the difficulty actually was I had a quick spell of bowling that Woody bowled there, um, picking up the ball under lights. That was at times quite tough uh, with his skinny trajectory. Um, that was something that. Again, it's it's a learning experience for me with the gloves, uh, the alignment element. Uh, obviously, with Stu Broad also bowling a lot of big in swingers, getting dragged in. Um, that was something that I found found a challenge, and that's the exciting thing is you get kind of those new experiences, keeping in the test match, and you've got to work out a, a, a method there and then um, and adjust to it, I suppose. So, yeah, I. I think the most pleasing thing, sorry, going back to it, was just the clarity I had with my game plan um, and, and my decision-making with the bat, I suppose. Uh, I just noticed that um, Nathan Lyon had a word or two to say to you. Um, can you share that? Was it on a level with what you're used to? <laughs> yeah, word or two. I mean, it was being very nice, but it was just a kind of verbal diarrhoea. Um, <laughs> it was, yeah, I mean, um, Pat was... Pat was sledging me a bit, saying Popey looks like my younger brother. And I said, I'm not ginger. Um, apart from that, it was all pretty harmless, but it was, it was just good fun. I know, obviously, a lot of these guys really well. Um, and, yeah, it's great to be in a contest. Um, for me, as an individual, I, yeah, really enjoyed it. Great, thanks. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thanks, everyone.